Now here's a very interesting article from VentureBeat and the headline is Sony invests $250 million in Fortnite maker Epic Games. Now as we all know Epic Games a couple of months ago uh, straight after the Inside Xbox showcase uh, about three or four days later Epic Games decided to release their Unreal Engine uh, Unreal 5 engine demo and at the front of the demo uh, they said that this was only uh, this was footage taken from the PlayStation 5 so everybody thought that this was what the PlayStation 5 was capable of and for the inside Xbox showcase people were disappointed because they showed a lot of cross-gen games that weren't really next-gen so people weren't that excited from the showcase and already there weren't a lot of people watching inside Xbox and when people saw the Unreal 5 engine demo people were super hyped that it got a ton of views both from I guess the PC um, gamers and also from the uh, PlayStation gamers and as well I guess Xbox gamers who wanted to see what the PlayStation 5 was capable of so in effect um, Sony knew exactly what they were doing uh, when by all likelihood they asked Epic Games to release some sort of uh, footage where it said PlayStation 5 footage um, it was captured on the PlayStation 5 now um, we're not saying that Tim Sweeney um, took money to um, say nice things about Sony uh, what we're saying is that uh, it seems very clear that uh, Sony and um, Epic uh, they did some sort of deal and uh, they were in partnership with each other and Epic Games were clearly happy to help Sony look good I guess after uh, this investment from Sony now from the VentureBeat article uh, the VentureBeat article says Sony has invested 250 million dollars for a minority stake in Fortnite maker Epic Games the company is announced today with the new money Epic Games has raised 1.83 billion dollars to date now just for a bit of perspective in April alone, thanks to the pandemic, Fortnite revenue was $400 million, sources told me. So if you extrapolate that out, uh, Fortnite probably makes Epic about maybe like $4 billion over the course of a year. And so raising 1.8, while this is not huge amounts of money for Epic, they make already tons of money from Fortnite, um, it's still fairly significant. It's still like 50% of what they make normally. and that kind of allows them to expand uh, even faster than what they could already so don't sneeze that this uh, 250 means nothing um, when you compare it to the 400 million that they make every month uh, the, this 2 billion still is clearly quite a substantial amount and allows them to grow a lot faster than uh, what they could previously now this 2 billion what they could obviously do is um, buy companies that they uh, want to get technologies in normally people um, want to buy the money uh, either to take away their competition or to buy IPs and the technology and Epic Games um, clearly wants to um, move faster than uh, they could normally now it says here um, Epic confirmed that it will be able to publish to other platforms. As noted, Sony is acquiring only a minority part of Epic Games and it is not acquiring a controlling stake in the company. Update: Sony is acquiring a 1.4% stake in Epic, which means the deal values Epic Games at $17.86 billion. Uh, so it's a very small stake, but already it's had huge impact on the console race. One, from the fact that um, Epic and uh, Sony can work together on an engine that benefits both of them and two uh, going forward um, Sony gets a huge say in the technologies implemented into the Unreal Engine so that they could uh, they can make better games for their system uh, and I've highlighted here the deal is important for Sony because it needs allies in the upcoming console war Later this year, Sony plans to launch the PlayStation 5 game console in competition with Microsoft's Xbox Series X. 
but Epic has said that its Unreal Engine 5 and Fortnite will work with all game platforms, as Epic has generally been neutral when it comes to making cross-platform technology. If Sony gets any advantage from investing in Epic, it isn't clear from this deal. So of course, Epic will want it to work on Xbox Series X. Uh, we know that Microsoft, um, if they compete hard, then they can still get quite a bit of share from the console race. Um, from the previous race, they had about 40 million units versus uh, Sony's 100 million units for the PlayStation 4. So 40 is still not uh, a bad amount. Uh, but, you know, they don't want to lose that part of the audience. So definitely Epic is always going to be third party. But if they're going to get investment from the console leader, um, there's no reason for Epic not to work with them.